All right, so lesson 103 is on the perimeter of complex shapes. So here I have this complex shape, and I need to find the perimeter of this figure. So here I have, as you can see, I have two missing sides. Now, they will not always label them for you. You'll have to find them on your own. It could just be two sides that don't have any numbers or labels. In this case, they did. So I need to figure out what N and M are before I can figure out what the perimeter is. So the way I do that is I look at my two longest sides. So I have this side here, which is my longest length, and then this is my width, my total length and my total width. So I know that my length, my total length, has to be the 4 inches plus M to get 10. You see how that works? And because if I extend this line out, M, I end up with the 10 inches. So to figure out what M is, I'm going to take my 10 inches, I'm going to subtract 4 inches, because that'll give me M, what's left. So 10 inches minus 4 inches is 6 inches. So M is equal to 6 inches. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with my width. The total width is 8 inches, and I know this little width here is 2, and I need to find what this width is. So 8 inches, if I take 8 inches and I subtract the 2 inches I have, it'll give me the length of n. So 8 inches minus 2 inches is, again, 6 inches. So n is equal to 6 inches. Okay. Now I can find the perimeter, and you find the perimeter just by adding up the length of all the sides. So I get 8 plus 4 plus 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 10. Okay. 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 6 plus 6 is 12 and 2 plus 10 is 12. So I end up with 12 plus 12 plus 12, which is 36 inches. Here's another example. I need to find the perimeter of this shape as well. And it just, it's, I'm missing two sides and it doesn't label them. So I'm going to label them so you can see which two sides I'm missing. I'm going to do N and M again. Okay. Those are the two missing sides. But as you can see, it doesn't show you that. But again, I need to find the length of these two sides. So my total width is 12 centimeters and my total length is 8 centimeters. So to figure out what my width is I'm going to do 12 centimeters minus 5 centimeters. Okay, it's my other width here and that'll give me n. So 12 minus 5 is is 7 centimeters. So n is equal to seven centimeters. Okay. Now with M, I need to find, I have eight centimeters as my total length, and I have three centimeters, so that means I'm going to subtract eight centimeters minus three centimeters to get M. Okay. Eight minus three is five, so I'm end up with five centimeters. Now I can add these all up to get my total. So I have 8 plus 12 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5. Okay. Add these up. 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 3 is 13 plus 5 is 18 plus 7 is 25 plus 5 is 30. Okay, my 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. So my total perimeter is 40 centimeters. Hey, that's all. Good luck on your homework.